For this resistance brazing demonstration we will be using a model 10557C. This first application that is being demonstrated is the removal of a crimped copper tube from one of the compressor stubs. This system contains two different styles of hand pieces in order to cover the wide range of applications that might be encountered by refrigeration service technicians. The one shown here is a model 105358SZ which was developed for those areas which might be hard to reach or inaccessible to the larger style handpiece. This next application will demonstrate the larger style handpiece included with this system as a copper tube is being attached to the compressor stub. This handpiece is a model 10587SZ and is the tool that is most often recommended for brazing applications during refrigeration repair and service. Although you will notice that the smaller handpiece does produce higher temperatures and more quickly, that also will affect the life of the electrodes and the handpiece. This larger handpiece was developed to better handle the high temperatures associated with brazing applications and the repetitive joints most common to this type of repair. In this application we are brazing the copper capillary tube to the filter dryer and once again we are using the model 105358SZ handpiece. A question that is often asked by refrigeration service and repair technicians is whether or not it is possible to braze copper and stainless steel tubing together using American Beauty resistance brazing equipment. As demonstrated in this segment of our video, using the model 10587SZ handpiece, we are able to resistance braze these dissimilar metal tubes together. Let's take another look at a common refrigeration repair application using the American Beauty model 10557C resistance brazing system. The joint is being heated to reflow the braze using a model 105358SZ industrial plier style handpiece so the copper tube can be removed. Notice the ring that is on this piece of copper tubing. What you are seeing is brazing wire that has been coiled or preformed into a ring that is slid onto the copper tube before it is placed into the compressor stub. Be sure the preform is properly placed against the joint before you begin heating. Once the joint is at the correct temperature to melt the braze, you will see it flow and wick directly into the intended joint. Feel free to visit us online at AmericanBeautyTools.com.